I'm cool. I think I talk about that a lot as far as turnovers, but looking at this, we only had seven. You know, I think Coach was more speaking about uh, something that I think that we harp on day in and day out, constantly talking about um, uh, situational awareness, which is, excuse me, when you watch games night in and night out in this league, you just, those end of game plays right there decide a lot of games. And it's hurt us in the past and we just gotta be better. Excuse me. Um, just um, <laughs> just got to want it more. You know what I mean? You got to do the little things. All of us, we got to do all the little details. You know, that, that one possession that you take off in these games, you know, if I don't come in and, and box out the shooter or pinch um, or we step across and box out, you know, those, those plays matter. Uh, somewhat, you know, with uh, Luca going down early, it's just everybody on that team sort of had to adjust. They became, you know, uh, real reliant on Spencer. You know what I mean? And he's he's aggressive nightly, and I think tonight he just basically had opportunity to play even more free. And so those other guys, they used to catching and shooting and stuff like that, and we just never um, we never responded. Yeah, yeah, it was too many, uh, you know, blow bys, you know, straight line drives. He had a few tough shots here and there, but, um, you know, it was a lot of blow bys. He was getting layups, finding guys for threes, and we uh, we got to be better. You talked about in the past that the sharing of the ball handling is about trust and just sort of going with it every single game and, and just committing to it. It seemed like Mikhail was more involved in that second half. Was there anything that was different or was it just sort of game flow and the shots came? Um, I don't know. Me and me and Kale be handling the basketball most of the game right now, you know. And uh, we saw it in the playoffs with them. They picked me up full court, you know, all game long, you know. And I think we a lot better at that, and we are gonna keep getting better at it. So. Um, it's no excuses, but obviously, if different guys in and out the lineup. You know, that was one of our advantages actually last season. We we had pretty much a consistent lineup, but nobody gonna feel sorry for us. A lot of teams are dealing with it, you know, so you know, we pros, we'll figure it out. Chris, there were a lot of defensive possessions where you guys were afterward, a lot of you guys were talking to each other, trying to piece together where, where to correct. Uh, so what does that come down to, that, that consistency that you guys were lacking tonight in that department? I mean, we put in uh, some different game plans or whatnot today, but I think we just got to become a next play team. You know, I think the, the really good teams, and we talk about it, you know, if a team score on you, you go score on them, then figure it out the next possession. So we'll get better at that too. Is that something that you feel like maybe you're going to have to harp on even more during this stretch, or is it just an experience of like, okay, you have to continue to do that? I mean, is it something you feel like you may have to harp on it more or no? Um, I don't know. I, I think we got guys in our locker room who committed to do whatever we got to do to win. You know what I mean? That's sacrificing. That's, you know, diving on the floor for a loose ball. If that's guarding better, um, there's no bad guys in our locker room, right? Everybody's working hard day in and day out trying to compete and be the best that they can be, and we, uh, we're going to continue to do that. And uh, I think as long as we do that together, we'll be just fine. Jay, nine nine, uh, I miss him. I miss him. Ain't no secret about it. You know, uh, it's one of our brothers. You know what I mean? I I came here with Jay. <laughs> you know, so 
Um, I hope you good. Nine nine, you out there. I hope you good. But you know, it's it's a business. It's the league. You know, it is what it is. Absolutely, but you got to interview Jay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, that's that's my dog for life. Yeah. Regardless, whatever going on, it's it's always going to be love here with me and Nana. But yep. the political situation, business situation with business, separate from not having him on the floor. That ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> right? <laughs> that's my teammate. So, yep. No problem. Thanks, Chris. No problem.